welcome to our algebra class uh, today uh, I will teach you these um, uh, problems identify inverse function identify in inverse function to show you what I mean this topic I will to solve a couple of problems like this one is f of x the inverse function of g of x this is our question uh, but our problem is uh, find find f and g of uh, x this is not times this is not times uh, f this is uh, when you see the circle uh, it's open circle right there, right there when it's closed circle means times when it's, uh, when it's open circle in, in between two variables or these two letters, the two letters this means uh, compose compose function okay we are talking about the compose function so it's f and g of x right um we have f of x equals negative 3x and gx equals uh, one third x remember fx and gx uh, are inverse f of x and g of x are inverse function are inverse functions on the set of x values set of x values so one uh, main thing where the composition are defined if and only if the following equation are true uh, we have f and g f and g of x um, equals equals f uh, this means g this g means this is inside f of um, g of x like this is equals x right and also we have to uh, prove that um, g and f of x so g and f so it's in the other way so change like g of f of x is equals x we have to prove this it is thus it is through this then the our function uh, is inverse okay to find f um, and g of x or g of and f g and f of x use the inner function we have to use the inner function this is the inner function as the input input for the other function the inverse of f of x is a uh, the inverse of f um, of x the inverse of a or x is written or written is written like this f when you write this means inverse verse of x right this means uh, with uh, this sign the negative signs this means inverse all right uh that's it this is uh, our concept for our class today the main main um, uh, topic meanings this uh this concept all right so now let's let's try to solve uh, our problem first okay if uh, we have find f and g of x when uh, f of x is equals um negative three x and then g of x is equals one third x we have to write it we have to write it this uh the problem like this okay just just write f and f and g right of x uh equals f like i told you i explained it, our concept equals f 
of g of x like this right now uh just substitute right here just write it write it and gx g of x equals uh how much is gx is equals one third one third x here as substitute here i mean substitute uh here as substitute the inner the inner function the inner function okay so now this is equals there's one problem here now this is equals f g of x we're talking about it's f uh substitute the inner function as negative here negative three x uh negative one third yeah we have to substitute here negative one third uh and three three here negative f of three yeah right f here uh is um no yeah this is equals negative one um one third here So this is equals here will be equals negative three uh negative one third x one third x this is on uh, uh just write negative here you have to write negative x here and uh, negative three x Right. So this is equals. We simplify. We simplify here. This is equals x, right? We can cancel everything. It's equals x, right here. So now let's go and then the other part. We have find. Find now we have to find g and f of x. This is, is different, all right? equals g of um f of x okay so just write it right here so f of x f of x is equals negative three x negative three x all right the uh, same thing substitute the inner function here substitute so uh, the inner inner function here uh, in this this case we apply the function rule here in this uh, uh, here apply uh, the rule apply the we have to apply the function rule what is uh, the function rule uh, the function rule for the uh, for the for the other for the other function in this case is f f of x here f of x equals negative three x right so here um now apply we have to apply here um the function the function rule right here in the next step apply the function for the other out other function which is a uh, uh, g x g of x equals um, negative one third x okay so let's do here then we will have um 
equals negative uh, one third right here negative one third times negative three x right how much is this so this is equals just cancel to is equals x see remember the rule that i wrote it uh before to start our class so both is equals x right so uh, as a conclusion in our problem so since uh, here so we will we, we write some conclusion uh, since um, f and g okay we're talking about f and g of x equals so equals um g and f of x and both both is equals uh those is equals equals x right f and g of x is equals g and f of x is equals x i mean both are equals x so f f and g f and g are inverse function so the answer look at the question the answer in the question is yes is f of x the inverse function of g of x the answer is yes all right let me write another uh, example another ex uh, different example okay let's write another problem um, here let's do um, uh, let's write um, f of x f of x equals um, 2x 2x minus 9 and then g and x equals let's uh, write it x minus 5 x minus 5 right so let's let's go and do uh, the uh, step so find f of x in this this in this case um first step the first step um just write it um f of g f of g of x f and g of x equals f and g of x of x all right so now substitute the inner function okay substitute the inner function therefore we will have gx G, uh, g of x g of x is equals x minus 5 g of x is equals minus 5 right uh, now um, apply here apply we have to to apply uh, the function rule the function rule uh, um, In this case yeah apply the function rule so now next step uh, f f is going to be um, x minus 5 uh, x minus 5 so um, here um, apply the um, I mean here f of x Here, um, it's going to be, uh, yeah, f of x, uh, and then, um, now let's go, yeah, it's like that. So now f of x, let's go to f of x, f, f of x, f2 of x, just write it 2x minus 9, because this is different. This is different than the first example. So this will be equals here. Here um, 
we have to apply the distributed property here. I mean, let's write it here. Um, two uh, here, two x, two x minus um, I mean here two substitute x times it is times uh, x minus 5 minus 9 yeah yeah like this so here where well, uh, we have to apply the distributed property here now apply apply the distributed distributed uh, distributed property So distributed property. If we apply the distributed property, we will have here uh, equals uh, 2x minus 10 minus 9, right? So uh, simplify here is 2x is equals uh, equals negative 19. Yeah, negative 19 negative 90 so you see this this number here so it is the answer is not x remember before we uh, the rule is if to be inverse function must to be both equals x in this case is not equals uh, x it's not equals x Do you see here so it's not is not is the answer is not x so uh, since our conclusion since um, f and g, f and g of x is different of x, the different of x, f and g are not inverse function. All right. That's it. Yeah, it's a little different uh, when a must, the, the rule must to be equals x when you uh, when you have inside the function or the outside substitute the inner function and apply the function rule after uh, must to be equals x. If the answer is not x, like this is 2x minus 90. This is the answer. When we simplify, uh, so it is not x. Therefore, this is not inverse function. Okay. Thank you so much. You discover the power of the mathematics and least your infinity potential.